Chimpanzees have a way of holding the hearts of those who spend time with them, sometimes a little too literally. Chimps are highly intelligent creatures, and because they remind us of us, sometimes we forget they are animals with their own thoughts and emotions. And due to the fact that they are intelligent, they have more emotions than the average animal. And one of those emotions is jealousy. And in 2003, when St. James Davis and his wife LaDonna want to visit their beloved chimp Mo, they would soon find out what happens when a chimp feels it has been slighted. So if you are not one who wants to hear about a vicious mauling, I suggest you don't watch this video. Mo was born in Tanzania in 1967, and unfortunately, like many other situations with chimps that still goes on today, Poacher shot and killed Mo's parents not too long after he was born. Poachers captured him and ended up selling him off. The Davises didn't have any children, so when they adopted him, they treated him like their son. He wore human clothes, he was potty trained, and even took showers like any other normal person, or I should say, a non-Discord moderator. But unfortunately, when chimps hit puberty, they start to rebel, not unlike humans. But unlike humans, the chimp way of doing things to us is pretty much always considered violent. When Mo was 10, he bit a woman's finger. This resulted in a lawsuit, but the lawsuit was later dropped. And for 21 years after this, not much happened. Things were relatively peaceful. Mo was kept in a pretty small 10 by 12 enclosure. And while it was being repaired, Mo escaped. The police were called in, and during the capture of Mo, he ended up denting a police vehicle and he mauled an officer's hand. It took a few officers to even hold him down. A year later, Mo was visited by a woman. This is all in the Davises' house, mind you. And the woman went to go pet Mo, and Mo ended up biting her finger. The Davises said it was because she had red fingernail polish on, and Mo confused it with his favorite treat, licorice. The woman sued the Davises, and Mo was sent to an animal sanctuary. After some legal back and forth, the city of West Covina paid the Davises $325,000. Included in that was $225,000 to buy a new house, near where Mo was being kept. But the city never actually paid them. Now this is where the story really takes a turn. A few years after this incident, on March 3rd, 2005, the Davises went to go visit Mo at the Animal Haven Ranch in Bakersfield, California. But this was no regular occasion. This was a special occasion. This was Mo's 39th birthday. The Davises had brought him cake, candy hearts, chocolate milk, and toys, and they were set at a picnic table right outside of Mo's enclosure and were sharing the treats with him. But Mo wasn't the only chimp on the premises. There were two female chimps and two male chimps. The two males were named Buddy and Ollie. As LaDonna was cutting a piece of cake, you notice out of the corner of her eye, a chimp running towards her out of an enclosure. The chimp immediately rushed her and bit her thumb off. Seeing this, James leapt up and he pushed LaDonna underneath the table. And by that time, the second chimp had come out and also started the attack. They both leapt onto James, pushed him to the ground. And simultaneously, one of the chimps started attacking St. James's foot and the other one went after his face. Mark Carruthers, the sanctuary owner's son-in-law, saw this happening and grabbed his 45 revolver. He went over and shot Buddy the chimp, killing him instantly. But at this point, Ollie had started dragging St. James down a walkway and continued to attack him. Crothers followed them and shot and killed Ollie as well. This was a quick attack, but the ramifications were horrendous. St. James lost most of his left foot, the majority of his fingers, most of his buttocks, part of his torso, both of his testicles, and parts of his face, including his nose and his lips. The two female chimps that had also escaped were captured within five hours. Between 2005 and 2009, St. James went through 60 different surgeries. He ended up needing an artificial eye and just had two slits where his nose would have been. Mo himself did not attack, and this attack did not discourage their love for him. The city of West Covina ended up paying for all the things they were supposed to before, including the home, as well as an additional $32,000 and $300 a month for the upkeep of Mo. Not too long after the attack in 2007, the Davises put a sign in their front yard saying free Mo. 
And Mo eventually would be freed, just not in the way that people wanted him to. In 2008, Mo was living on a ranch in which the owner rented out animals for performances. Somehow, Mo escaped his enclosure, and witnesses reported seeing him running up the side of a mountain in San Bernardino. The Davises hired a helicopter to go try to find him in the mountains and flush him out, but they never found him. To this day, no one knows what happened to Mo. And considering that he was 42 in 2008, and that chimps are known to live upwards of 60 years in the wild, there is a small potential that Mo could still be in the mountains of San Bernardino.